That was the problem. Check. Now it's fine, right? I know. <laughs> I don't know for what reason it got turned off. My God. Great, great. Chalo. Anyways. <coughs> So anyways, let's start from the beginning. So guys, yes, a very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all of you guys are having a super amazing day going on. Yes, there was a little technical issues from my side. I didn't check it. But anyways, I hope all of you guys are excited, guys, because you know what? Today's session is all about super duper images that we just received from one of the costliest telescopes out there. One of the amazing telescopes out there, that is the James Webb Telescope. So I hope you guys are all ready to listen about it, to learn about it. Because wherever you guys go to Instagram, to YouTube, to Facebook, you see just these pictures. You turn on your TV, in the news, you see these pictures. So what is these pictures all about? Are they really that amazing? So all of that is what we'll be trying to learn today. So again, a very warm welcome to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vedantu. And a very warm welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. So what's up, people? Hi, Chetna. Hi, Amit. Hi, Vandana. Uh, hi, Hacker. What's up? Hi, Syed. Good. Good to see you all here. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Trishna. What's up? Good. All good. All good. All good. That's amazing. So a small disclaimer. These pictures, when you normally see, you'll be like, huh, what is this? Nothing. But when you actually know the facts behind it, your entire perception about this picture changes. Okay, because if you do not know what you're looking at, obviously it will be like, hmm, it's like Mona Lisa's painting. Okay, so if it is somewhere there, you'll be like a oh, normal painting. But if you know it's Mona Lisa's painting, you'll be like, whoa. So similarly, this is that is how these images are also. If you do not know what is there in the image, you will not know the value of it. So we will learn it. Okay, slide is cool. I know I made it. <laughs> you want to see it? Boom. It's cool, no? I know. <laughs> all right. All right. Enough of self-boasting. Let's go for the first one. As I already told you guys, yes, this the world gets its first look at, you know, to see the full capabilities of the NASA's James Webb telescope. Now, guys, it is a space telescope. We all know we already had a space telescope before. That was the Hubble Space Telescope. Now we all know why do we put telescopes in the space so that we can have a better viewing, uh, you know, uh, compared to the telescopes on the Earth. All right. But when we compare the James Webb telescope with the Hubble Space Telescope, now Hubble Space Telescope worked in the ultraviolet range. It also you know, was able to capture some images in the infrared. But when we talk about James Webb, it completely works in the infrared range. So it takes pictures in the infrared. All right. So yes, now this was a partnership with the European Space Agency, also with the Canadian Space Agency, with NASA. So all these three people together, they sent this amazing telescope into space. The first images from this world's largest and most powerful space telescopes at its full power you know, ready to begin its mission to unfold all of that mysteries of the universe. It's going to tell us a lot of details about it. You can see how excited I am because the pictures are so exciting. Okay, so tell me people, are you all ready to look at those pictures? Give me a quick yes in the chat. And if you guys haven't liked the video yet, make sure that you guys like it right away and call up all of your friends because it's now or never. <laughs> It's now or never. Are you guys all ready? Give me a quick yes. Sangeeta is telling yes. Whoa. Raj is telling yes. Okay, good, good, good. Balaji is telling yes. Pradeep, yes. Trishna, yes. Amit, yes. Good, good. Come on. Where is all the energy, guys? It's 9 p.m. It's okay. I hope you guys have all had your dinner. I want to see all that energy in the chat. Hi. Hi, Chaitanya. Hello. What's up? What's up? Good, good, good. Yes for many. <laughs> nice guys nice hit the like button right away and also subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed okay yeah look at the look at the alien guys look at the alien and at least for the alien subscribe and hit the like button <laughs> cool so are you excited to see the first image how many of you guys have already seen these images on the internet 
how many of you guys have already seen the images on the internet or, or anywhere if you are following me on instagram i have already put an image on my instagram story as well right you have seen it no cool not a problem if you haven't seen it we'll go for the first image the first image that we're going to be decoding right now or understanding right now is the the corina nebula okay now what is this nebula guys you know what is this nebula all about now nebulas are amazing to see guys because they are super colorful they look so amazing all right now nebulas are, are also a place where the stars are born so it's a place with all that magic dust <laughs> all right that is how amazing nebulas are and sometimes these nebulas are also formed when there is a huge explosion when a star dies in a supernova explosion even in that cases these dust and gases are thrown away which can be a nebula as well so what we are seeing right now what we are about to see right now is something called as the carina nebula located roughly very close just 7600 light years away 7600 light years one light year is nothing but the amount of distance light can travel in one year now that is super far okay so this was imaged by of course the james webb's infrared camera and the mid infrared instrument it looks like do you want to see do you want to see how it looks like it looks like this isn't that amazing <laughs> this actually looks like a wallpaper no you you can have this as a wallpaper all right how cool is this now what you are seeing right here is not somebody drawing it's an actual image that is there in the space it is a nebula you can see all these gases and dusts okay so all of these gases and dusts are the places where stars are born so you can call this as a star's birthplace <laughs> all right looks like mountains right exactly look at this looks like mountains right yeah this peaks and mountains this one mountain itself will be around 7 light years tall so they are like super super huge guys <laughs> and all these tiny dots you see guys look at this it can be galaxies you know different different amazing things so many so much so much details in a, in a, in a single picture okay now guess the possibilities that you know that 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 gives us by this picture like people can do a lot of research on this they can understand how the stars are getting formed how the stars were formed all of it looks like a painting i know <laughs> i know i know this is this is insane guys this is insane now yes so this landscape of you see the mountains all these valleys speckled with glittering stars is actually the edge of a nearby young star forming region called the ngc it's a region near the ngc 3324 universe now this image reveals for the first time previously all of the invisible areas of a star birth we have observed this picture using the hubble also but right now the details that we are getting from here is exceptional is exceptional which is no way closer to what we were seeing in hubble okay crazy crazy all right did you guys all like the first picture guys did you all love it did you like the first picture people <laughs> <laughs> now are you ready for the second super duper picture it's going to get better and better it's going to get better and better we are ready for the next picture and by the end of the session no you guys are going to tell me what was your favorite picture out of all the things all right all right yeah next picture interesting it is the stephen's quintet quintet now what is the stephen's quintet this stephen's quintet is amazing why because it's a visual grouping of five galaxies what galaxy are we in milky way galaxy the picture you're about to see has five galaxies in it five galaxies in one picture my god this enormous mosaic or enormous picture is the james webb's largest image till date it's the largest image ever captured 
okay covering about one fifth of the entire moon's diameter that big is this picture okay it consists of over 150 million pixels guys 150 million pixels and it was constructed or made from you know how many images almost thousand separate images they took thousand separate images they put them all together and the picture that we got was mind-blowing i'll show you okay so the information from web provided new insights into you know how galactic interactions happen how galaxies interact with each other you know uh, how uh, you know these galaxies were evolved and how were they formed in the early universe all of this so you want to check it out do you want to see how how this five amazing galaxies look together yeah check this out <coughs> Now this <laughs> right here is the Stephen's Quintet and you can see how amazing these galaxies are and how they're interacting with each other. Isn't this super amazing? All of these jets of streams of things which are flying away in space, you can see how these galaxies are interacting with each other. Super duper, one of the biggest, biggest picture ever captured. And one more exciting thing guys, all of these tiny, tiny things you see here, no? See this thing. Uh, these things, these things, these things, these things, everything, you know, what is it? Can you guys tell me? What is all of these things? What is all of these things? What is all of these things? <laughs> everything here, what you see are actually stars, galaxies, galaxies, everything you see here. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Can it get even more better? Look at the look at the picture. My God. Crazy, isn't it? That's why it's one of the amazing, amazing pictures. All right. One of my favorites. So, yes, this is N NGC 7320 resides how far? 40 million light years uh, away from the Earth. While the other four of the you know galaxies which are together, that is the NGC 7317, NGC 7318A, NGC uh, 7318B and NGC 7319. So all of these five are about 290 million light years away. Okay, they're all like that far. All right. Yes, yes. Today is your sister's birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> Talking about Stephen's Quintet here. Come on. All right. Did you guys like it? Did you guys like Stephen's Quintet? Did you guys like it? Yeah. So which is your favorite? Which is your favorite? Was it the first one or was it the second one? So far, what is your favorite? Batao Jaldi. So far, what is your favorite, people? What is your favorite? Is it the first one or the second one? <laughs> tell me, tell me quickly in the chat. For some reason, I'm not able to see the chats on my phone. Sometimes, no, my phone acts crazy. The second one only. Or just Stephen Squinted. That's your favorite. All right. Interesting. Interesting. But you guys are going to change your choices next. I'm going to bet. I'm going to challenge you that you're going to change your choice next. Because next we are about to see something even more amazing. That is the Southern Ring Nebula. Why is it called as a Ring Nebula? You will see. Okay. So two cameras abroad. So uh, we have the web. There are two cameras on the James Webb Telescope, which captured the latest image of a planetary nebula again. So it's a nebula again cataloged as NGC 3132 and known informally as the Southern Ring Nebula. It is approximately how far? 2500 light years away. And in thousands of years, these uh, nebulas are going to become into dust. But good that we saw right now only. And it looks like... It looks like... This. Now tell me how crazy is it? Guys, I'm pretty sure this is going to be your favorite, right? My, one of This is my favorite, guys. Out of all the images, look at the details. Look at how beautiful it is. Ne I, to I told you, right? Nebulas are always beautiful. It's a planetary nebula here. So basically, uh, formed after, you know, a planet, uh, a star becomes into a supernova explosion. 
so it it, it just explodes <laughs> and dust and gases are thrown away in all the directions all of this you can see how much energy guys isn't that crazy you change your mind now how many of you guys have changed your mind to this image sir this is the southern ring uh, you know nebula is my favorite how many of you guys <laughs> you changed your choices now i told you that you guys are going to change it see i told you <laughs> i told you all right all right all right so we have two more images but next thing is going to change your mind it's going to be it's going to blow your mind all of three is fine fine okay all right uh, uh one more uh, interesting thing i'm going to tell you is what is that one question you guys always ask me about space guys tell me what is that one question you always ask me in space sir i have this one question what is that one question it is so are there aliens are there people like us is there another earth anywhere what if i tell you yes okay so we're going to talk about the next one that is the wasp 96b so nasa's james webb again captured you know a distant signature of water it was able to detect water on a exoplanet we detected water on a exoplanet along with evidence of clouds haze in the atmosphere of that planet surrounding a hot puffy gas planet orbiting a it is also orbiting a distant star like sun, you know sorry sun like star wow that's interesting and how did we find out guys guys come on this james webb telescope is an infrared telescope all right so we can pick up the signals we can pick up the data i also study about what is the composition of the atmosphere what makes up that planet everything so the picture was like this guys all right so this shows the atmospheric uh, composition of this planet the wasp and you can see the presence of water all right so this exoplanet has what we know what is exoplanet right exoplanets are the planets which are outside our solar system which are far far away from us all right so wasp 96b is one of the more than we have so far confirmed 5000 exoplanets in the milky way itself so apart from our solar system we have around 5000 exoplanets in our own solar system located roughly around 1150 light years away in the southern sky okay it represents the types of gas giant that has no direct analog in our solar system all right yeah you know you guys know what is exoplanet right so exoplanets are the planets which do not belong to our solar system they belong to different solar systems all right yes yes now the next one guys i hope you guys are ready it's called as the this is the last picture smack 0723 one of the craziest pictures This was the first picture ever released when people were all all over the world waiting for the James Webb's picture. Uh this was one of the first picture ever released by the US government and you guys are going to be All right. So NASA's James Webb Space Telescope uh I know has produced the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. Till date, known as the Webb's first deep field Now this image is a galaxy cluster. What is a galaxy cluster? So many galaxies in one picture, guys. You want to check it out, guys? Do you want to check it out? I can see 32 likes. I am not going to show this image until we reach 50. So 50 likes and I am going to show you in one picture I am going to show you millions of galaxies. So hit on that like and let's check it out. Come on. Come on, come on, quick. This is how it looks. <laughs> Everything you see in this picture is a galaxy. Every small dot you see in this picture is a galaxy. This 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 every small dot is a galaxy look at the detail guys look at how many galaxies 
we are able to see in this picture. All right. One more interesting thing is this entire picture is a very small picture. If somebody stands on the ground, takes a small sand particle, keeps it on their finger, only that much is there in this picture. You can now imagine how big the space is. How big space is because this right here in front of you is just a sand grain or just a very, very tiny part of the entire space. If a small picture can have so many galaxies, imagine how many galaxies are present out there in the universe and imagine the chances of human like creatures. You imagine the chances of aliens present in them. My God. Milky Way is just one. We have millions like this. This is just a single dot in this space. A single dot. Guys, if you look at this uh, sky right now, make a small dot. That dot is this much. It's even less than that dot. <laughs> All right. I, yo. Like, like I saw this picture and I was, I was like crazy. I'm like, no way. So thousands of galaxies, including the faintest objects ever observed in the infrared, have appeared in this new picture in the web's view for the very first time. Now this slice of the vast universe covers a small patch in the sky that is just a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. Like a grain of sand in the arm's length. Very, very tiny. Very, very tiny. And guys, trust me, if you are somebody who loves space, no, this picture you can't even imagine. <laughs> that is how amazing these pictures are guys and yes we are awaiting more pictures and James Webb is gonna do an amazing job out there he's gonna keep on sending us pictures let's all watch these pictures and learn a lot about space if you're somebody who loves space make sure that you guys keep checking out these images learn more about these images and I'm always gonna be there to teach about these images all right guys so yep now tell me quickly what was your favorite pictures in the comment section and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram my Instagram handle is learn underscore with underscore Mohan you can follow me there to get more updates to interact with me to slide into my DMs and also uh, uh, you know watch what are the classes I'm gonna take <laughs> all right guys so yep I hope all of you had fun uh, in today's session with me, it was wonderful teaching you all. I always had this key. Come on, I should go there and tell these people, tell this, tell my champions about these amazing pictures. Now I'm satisfied. I hope you guys are also satisfied. We'll meet up in the next class, guys. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe and stay as lovely as always. You guys are, by the way, if you guys want to take up the Vedantu courses, the link for the courses is right below my video. So all you guys have to do is, is go to my video right now all right go to my video scroll down you can see the pro courses ka link here take up the courses by the way guys if you are somebody who wants to take up the courses today is the last date to get 20 percent off your 20 percent off will end right today so make sure that you guys take it today itself show this entire website to your parents all right you can change your grade here if you are from class 7th fine change it to grade 8 grade 7 6 whatever grades and take up the courses QQ. I'm repeating again. Your twenty percent off gets over tonight. Tomorrow morning you come and check it out. It'll not be there. So don't miss this twenty percent off. It ends tonight. And uh, please use it, guys. I don't want you guys to pay the uh, uh, pay more money for the same course. So check it out. You get you get all the classes for three subjects. That is your math, English, and science. Along with, uh, you know, live in class doubt solving, quizzes and leaderboards with on to improve and promise. Suppose if you guys don't uh, improve in your studies, get the money back. Class notes, uh, all India test series, study materials, so many amazing things. Show this to your parents. How many of you guys are going to show this? How many of you guys are going to show this to your parents? Tell me. Are you going to show this to your parents? The entire website, the links are right here. Are you going to show this? So show this, let them know how, how amazing Vedantu is and join my batches. I'll be very happy to see you guys in my batch. <laughs> all right. So yeah, guys, I'll meet you guys all in the next class. So uh, until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off all of you. Take care, stay safe. Stay as lovely as always, you guys. Bye-bye.